So this is a cool little area that I refer to as the hub. We have a big piece of woods off this way. We have a big piece of woods off this way. The deer like to move through here. So I'm look, working on bolstering it for the wildlife that travels through this area. I did the apple tree maintenance video off over here. And this is a food plot that I planted last year into winter wheat, um, an annual species just for something for the wildlife to, to munch on during the course of the winter time. Now I'm going to go and make it better for the wildlife now moving forward for the summer and, and into the fall. Clover is a species that would work very well as you can see this food plot. It's got a lot of trees, it's kind of shaded. Uh, it's just a little hidey hole um, that I want to bolster and uh, make better for the wildlife species on the property that I'm able to hunt. Clover, you know, really likes about three to five hours of sunlight a day. As you can see, it's getting sunlight right now. It's perfect. So this clover is perfect for logging roads, uh, little tucked away hidey places, but it's also good for, for full sunlight areas too. But this is a perfect species to use. I'm going to use a term or a technique called frost seeding. So what frost seeding is, is I'm going to take clover and I'm going to broadcast this across the, the soil right now. As you can see, there's the, the dead vegetation. What's going to happen in Wisconsin, we go through a series of freezing and thawing, freezing and thawing. As it heaves, as the soil heaves, it's going to open up and take that small uh, seed of the clover and it's going to let, nestle it down into the soil. It's going to make perfect soil contact. Um, it's going to mimic what we would do in a normal agricultural setting with cultipacking or lightly disking. And it, we're going to let Mother Nature do the work for us. And this is the part of the reason why this technique works so well. Look at the size of that seed, right? It's tiny. You only want to cover your seed or have the soil uh, covering the seed as, as, as wide as this seed is. So this is why this technique works perfect. As the soil freezes and thaws and it heaves and goes back down, it's going to pull this tiny little seed and nestle it perfectly into the ground. And it's going to sit here until it warms up and then it will germinate and start to grow. So after watching this video, I hope you get a little bit excited about going out and trying frost seeding for the first time or possibly reincorporating it into your wildlife management habitat techniques in the future. As you can see, it's a quick little project, um, things you can get done in just an hour or two. And as we all know, time is one of the limiting factors in all of our lives. So hopefully you find this video interesting, um, hopefully you find it useful, and you'll put it to use for your habitat management techniques here in the future.